Good morning. Uh, despite that wonderful phrase from Paul, I have a little more, I think, timely phrase. And Samuel said, speak, for your servant is listening. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Caleb Briggs. I'm a junior at St. John's College. I write the bulletins. I also do the e-blast. Uh, and I'm here to talk to you today about the importance of stewardship. When thinking about stewardship of the church, it's important to think about the meaning behind these words. And so I'm wondering if you'll indulge me for a moment in a little etymological exploration. The word church, as most of you probably know, has Germanic roots, but ultimately comes from the ancient Greek koreakon, meaning place of the Lord. That's neuter, omicron, sigma ending for Johnny's in the room. Um, the <laughs> I think we're all pretty familiar with the concept of a church being a house of God. Stewardship has its roots in the old English words of stig, meaning wooden enclosure or house, and weird, meaning keeper. To be a steward of St. Anne's is to be a housekeeper of God's house. But are donations merely to keep the lights on and the walls up? To answer this, I offer you one more word. The Latin word for church, ecclesia. Ecclesia survives today uh, in our word, ecclesiastical, and comes from the same sounding ancient Greek word, ecclesia. Ecclesia means assembly and originally comes from the Greek verb ekaleo, meaning to call out. Ecclesia is the word used by Paul in his letters and was an already familiar word to the Greeks. I think we as an Episcopalians are in a position where we can take the meanings of church and stewardship literally. We may think of Ecclesia as a mere calling out to the world to come and seek sanctuary within these walls, with us, where our stewardship keeps the building intact. It may be tempting to think that the calling out of the church stops and is answered when you step through the doors or log on to Zoom. But I think it's foolhardy to think that God's house stops at these walls or on our live stream. Sure, on a human scale, this building is bigger than any house I've been in and is entirely made for God. But just because we built a house for God doesn't mean he isn't everywhere else. To assume that would be to assume God is at the mercy of our buildings and our real estate. Do we think we can zone for God? Just because we did that doesn't mean he isn't everywhere else. No. Even within this church, even when a part of it, we are still called out. As we sit here, what are we called out to do? Yes, I am called out to help keep up God's house. Yes, I am called out to help keep these lights on and these walls up. But it doesn't stop here. In here... We are called out to help feed and house the homeless and struggling people at the lighthouse. In here, we are called out to help the kids at the Stanton Center. In here, we are called out to help our brothers and sisters in Guatemala. In here, we are called out to help the sick and the injured in Gaza. Don't think stewardship only goes as far as the parish house. Don't think that the calling out stops when we come here. Don't think God's house isn't beyond these walls. So, as you sit here, I hope you will hear God calling out to you. I hope you will hear him calling out to you to keep his house up with whatever you are able to give. I hope you, are, you will be able to say, speak, for your servant is listening. Thank you. <laughs>